Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Got a Headcore X90 for you today. A little bit of a graphics refresh for this year, but it remains that same great all mountain ski for intermediates uh, through emerging advanced skiers looking to get something that's pretty simple in nature, but also has a lot of versatility built in. So really well-rounded ski. Uh, good to see this thing back. There's just a huge audience for something like this. Looking for something in the 90 millimeter range uh, without metal that's approachable, easy to use, and just has a ton of versatility built in. Uh, simple wood core, you know, nothing flashy going on here. We do get fiberglass and graphene added to the mix. Uh, that's making the ski a little bit more stiffer, more responsive, more energetic. Uh, really giving that on-trail personality a boost while adhering to core, the core more free ride all mountain side of the spectrum. So we do have a lot of the personality of a head core 93 in this ski, just with a more simplistic construction. So hitting more skiers in that intermediate range, uh, kind of right across the middle. Great ski for that application. Uh, this one is the 163, We're looking at a 13.4 meter turn radius, so pretty short. The 170 is just under 15 meters in the turn radius, so it does prefer to be in that, that low to mid range of turn shape and speed. Uh, certainly you're going to want more material in a ski, a longer turn radius if you want to uh, make a straighter, more aggressive cut to the turn. Uh, but for most skiers looking to make that short to mid radius turn, I think this is a great place to be. Uh, they do a great job building energy into the ski through their camber as well. You know, when we put them back to back, we just see a lot of bounce coming out of the middle of the ski. So they're building energy into it that way. Every time you put it on edge, you're counter flexing it. And then when it comes out of the turn and you unweight, the energy of the ski is going to propel you into the next turn. So it's super intuitive, really easy to use. And then we see kind of cores uh, shaping and taper uh, profile come into play here. So that taper shape, the widest part of the ski is brought down a little bit, uh, you know, versus the shape series skis where there's minimal taper. Uh, this is widest parts brought down a little bit. That makes you access the side cut easier, as well as being more floaty and uh, playful in softer snow. So not a whole lot of rocker going on here uh, and just a minimal amount of taper, very similar to what we see in the core series skis. So that again, that widest point in the tail's brought down a little bit, really giving you a smoother exit to the turn. And then that low rocker profile in the back uh, really helps you get out of one turn into the next. Not hooky, not catchy at all. Very smooth and drifty and just a whole lot of fun. Pretty light too. Put it on the scale here. Again, this is the 163 uh, and we're at 1630 grams. Obviously, the longer uh, the length, the more material and the more weight. But overall, this is uh, a pretty light ski. Great for that intermediate to advanced skier who's looking to progress. Uh, spending most of their time on trail, but a little bit wider bodied format for off for off piste adventures. So make sure you check out this Headcore X90 here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.